Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have a TL922A here. I have, think I have five 922s here right now. So I love this amp. This is my favorite amp. I've worked on almost 700 of these now to date. So I have a lot of experience with this amplifier. So I worked on this one I don't know, like three years ago or so. I did all the modifications, the stability mods, everything. So... Uh, the plate choke had some damage to it when when it had come in. I didn't have one. He said that, and it worked fine. It worked on all bands after I was done. He said he had sourced one, and he just never put it in. So, anyway, fast forward till a few weeks ago, I guess. Uh, started. It worked on all bands, but 160, you know, uh, re till recently. So, uh, the best he could get was like, I think he said three or 400 watts out. So, he immediately stopped trying to use it he called me up brought it over and I checked the band switch to make sure there was nothing wrong with the contacts for the padding capacitance for the uh, the load side or the plate side you know the air variable capacitors that was fine and then I took the cover off the top and I saw all of the damage to the plate choke so luckily I had a replacement so I swapped it out and I checked the capa the capacitor bypass cap at the base of the plate choke. I checked that. That's fine. Uh, you know, if he kept using it, he could have possibly damaged the, the bypass cap. So that's all good. Everything else is good. Produces full output on all bands now. But I just wanted to show people that. You know, uh, when these mods aren't done, you can run into parasitic issues, all other, all, all, all sorts of other damage, you know, depending on... Uh, what's going on if you have an open on your output or super SBR or depending on what band you're on I mean I won't go over all that but so uh, I also don't recommend using this on 17 meters I would stay within the bands that it's designed to work on and uh, you know that's about it so I just wanted to make a quick video and that's that and just a great amp awesome 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 amp if I had a, if I had my pick over any amplifier it would be this any ham built you know like a commercially made you know amp other you know if it was mil spec or broadcast spec something that would be different but any amp like this multi-band uh desktop type or whatever or even console type this this is my favorite you know, absolute favorite amplifier so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe i'd really appreciate it my website is AmpRepairGuy.com and my phone number is 203-892-4119-73.